Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video of Bookmas. And yes, today we are going to be going book shopping. I just came back from Pilates, which is why my hair looks like this and I look a little bit crazy, but I wanted to go buy some books today. We have some new releases we want to pick up. But today, the bookstore that I'm going to is a little bit different than the bookstore I usually go to. So I don't think some of the books that I want are actually available. This might be like a two-day book shopping video because I really, really want to pick up some new releases. I also want to pick up some holiday books Books because I do not have any Christmas books so I hope that I can find some today but yeah, I just went to Pilates and I want to show you guys my really cute outfit I don't think I ever show you guys my outfits but this is a little bit different because this video is sponsored by the Halara the Halara is an online website that specializes in athleisure loungewear and basics this is my Pilates outfit these are leggings by the way the leggings are cropped on the waist with a V silhouette so it makes your waist looks really really small it comes to roll they're really really stretchy this one in particular is a pet off pet hair resistant high waisted crossover plain leggings these leggings are suitable if you guys have pets like i do pet hair literally do not stick onto these leggings they're very easy to kind of come off the leggings so i love them because of that i've been using them a lot these are the ones i use the most they're also really really freaking stretchy and they're so comfortable i don't feel like i am out of breath every time i wear these leggings and i also really like how cinched they are so best of both worlds they also have another type of legging that's made of this cloud fold fabric and i really like these two because they're so comfortable these are more specifically used for workouts such as yoga or pilates the padded off one i feel like i can wear on a daily basis but the cloud fold leggings i feel like are very much for workouts because they're super tight on you you feel super secure wearing these leggings they're made of high quality material that's known to be exceptionally soft and really really hugs your skin they also have the high-waisted side pocket leggings and these are just like the basic leggings i bought the one that's 7 8 inch in length i am a short girl so every time i wear the longer ones they always end up really really long on my legs they're very comfortable they're very easy to wear and slip on i also bought their golf skirts because i go golfing if you guys don't know that and i love their skirts they're so cute i might go golfing today so i will show them to you guys if i end up trying them on first of all they're really cute and what i like about them is that they have pockets on the inside shorts and also the fabric is longer on the back so your butt doesn't come off every time you bend down you need more coverage with your butt so i really like how the fabric is longer at the end and those are the clothes that i bought from halara if you guys want to check them out you guys can go to their website and check out all their products i will link all of the products that i've mentioned in the description box down below i love their products they're really really cute and they're really really comfortable i'm going to go book shopping now um let's just go right ahead and go book shopping <music> So I just came out from my little outing. You guys saw little clips, really little clips of me in the bookstore. There were barely any new releases and I also couldn't find any holiday books. So I just gave up. But I didn't go there for no reason. I found a book I really, really wanted. Two Twisted Crowns by Rachel Gillig. I literally screamed when I saw this book. I immediately took it. It was the last one on the shelf. Please tell me why the heck this is here. I didn't realize that it was imported into my country. I thought I had to pre-order it. But I saw one and I was like... <sighs> So very happy about this purchase. I literally felt like I went there for for something at least. At least I got something. Yeah, I'm very happy about this. I was so ready to go overseas to get a copy of this. I officially have the completed duology. The fact that I have this, I just feel so much better. I'm so happy I went to that bookstore now that I got this. I do not have time to go to the other bookstore today. I have stuff to do. So I might either go tomorrow in the afternoon or I might go on Sunday. Hopefully I can go either one of those two days. I really want to grab those new releases so bad. Fingers crossed that I actually can get to them this week if not then i'll just go on monday this is not the end of the bookstore vlog i will have one more clip of me going book shopping to another bookstore that i know for sure will have my new release let us hop into the second one that bookstore trip was pretty impromptu it wasn't planned so i forgot to film a lot i only did a little bit of skimming i immediately found the book i wanted so i didn't skim too much i had 
plans after that so i only had like five minutes in the bookstore didn't do much filming but i did go there and i did buy the books that i wanted i did film a clip of me getting it so the book that i really wanted to get the new release i was talking about is fuel the fire by chris and becca ritchie I'm not sure if you guys know this but the addictive world series was initially indie published and then it got picked up by a publisher berkeley books and now they're slowly getting released traditionally this month fuel the fire was recently released i just recently read thrive i'm gonna read addicted after all very very soon so i wanted to have this in hand just in case i want to read it next year this is about connor and rose which are my favorite couples so i was really really excited about getting this this is a really really thick this is 550 pages. I really, really want to get into this very, very soon. So that's why I want to finish Addicted After All quickly. Initially, I wanted to get Never by Jessa Hastings, but after much contemplation, I decided not to get the book because I've read a lot of bad reviews about that book. I don't want to get a book and end up not really liking it. And I've heard so many people not like the book. Maybe if I really want to, I'll get it. But for now, I decided not to get it. But I did see a book that i felt like maybe i would like and also it just seems like a very short and easy read and that is the story life of aj fickery by gabrielle zevin i've heard a lot of people talk about this book recently i don't know what this is about to be honest aj fickery the grumpy owner of island books is going through a hard time his bookshop is failing he has lost his beloved wife and the prized rare first edition has been stolen but one day aj finds two-year-old maya sitting on the bookshop floor with a note attached to her asking the owner to look after her his life and maya's is changed forever also if you guys can hear a little bit of background noise somebody is scrubbing the floors and so yeah writing is big a page number is short only 300 pages i think this is gonna be a fun and easy read and that's the second book that i got i did get love theoretically for my friend i'm not gonna talk about it i do own this book also so these are the two books that i got in that bookstore in total i got three books for this video once again i did a big book haul so i did not buy a lot of books because considering how many books i bought in that book haul i decided not to go too crazy just grabbed a few books that i really really wanted i hope it's fine that this was a shorter video to upload in this day's bookmas but i totally forgot to film clips in the bookstore but yeah that is it for this video thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video bye